Hey viewers, another autopsy video. This time we're going to have a look inside the Heath Kit model IM-13 vacuum tube multimeter. Uh, this one's uh, in a little bit, a little hard shape. You can see it's cracked here and it's separated somewhat. But uh, other than that, you know, some of the knobs don't match up, but I mean that doesn't really matter. It's just it just had a long life. So there's not too much on the outside that uh, to show you, but uh, I've got the screws out of the back, and uh, I'll show you what's inside it. Get the little mounting bracket off it. And again, there's nothing on the back or the sides or the bottom. But so this is what we got. So like I say, it's a vacuum tube multimeter, so there are two tubes. A 6AL5 and uh, can't remember what this one is. A 12AU7A. Pretty standard tubes. And you got your step down transformer that'll that'll supply the the correct voltage to run the tubes because these tubes obviously aren't 120 volts a 12 would be the filament would be 12 volts and uh, what, was I, what was that a 6 AL5 that would be uh, 6.3 volts um, there's a spot for a battery but you can see there was a battery in it when I originally opened it but it was badly corroded and you can see it all over the spring there so yeah and that's mainly, I think, just to uh, run the like the ohm meter when you don't have it plugged in or something. I think. Um, on the other side, you've got your switches. So the big one here that would be your voltage slash ohm selection. It's a multi-layer switch. Uh, there's three layers on that one that I can see. You got this one, flat one here. That's your, that's your power, your AC, DC, and your ohm selection. Again, that's a multi-layer switch. You can see there's three layers to that one. Um, got some old, old caps. And, well, there's really not that much else to it. One thing I did found really interesting when I opened it up is the, um, the ohms adjust and the zero adjust. The switches are really neat in how they're built. I've never seen it before, but they've got three ball bearings. And if you watch as I rotate it... Yeah. I've never seen a switch built quite like that before. So there's a little center pin there. It's a little hard to see. But that center pin is what's attached to the knob. So when you rotate the knob, the center pin rotates. And because the balls are pressed against it, it makes the balls rotate. And they rotate much slower because they're much larger than the pin. And that rotates the actual switch. The other one does it too. It's a really, really neat design. I've never seen it before. I'll probably never see it again. Um, I will plug it in just to just to um, light her up, so you can see the tubes going and whatnot.
So we do have power. Place springs in the way. That's the 6AL5 going, and there's the 12 going. Some of the, I haven't restored it, so the meter isn't accurate right now. As you can see, it's way down in the negative, and zero adjust, I don't think the zero adjust actually brings it up at all. See, that's DC plus. But you can see, as the tubes warm up, the meter is gradually coming down. That was the problem with these old vacuum tube multimeters, is they actually had a warm-up period before they become accurate. Unlike today's multimeters, you just turn the switch on and you're ready to go, like right, like right, like that. These ones aren't quite like that. Let's see if I can actually zero it. Yeah. So that's zero adjust. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the Heath Kit IM-13 vacuum tube multimeter. Thanks for watching.